Welcome back to Let's Play Never End. If you remember, last time we were trying to find a guide that would take us through the swamps to the north. So, as you men could track down her thieves who have taken the amulet and the gold. To the shop. But there's somebody new sitting here in the shop. Hey, no offense, but you look like you belong to the circus. I'm not offended. I actually do belong to the circus. Are you a freelance artist? No, the others are outside Mildrew. The mayor kicked us out of the city. His makeup makes it look like he has a little cat mouth. You must have done something wrong if he doesn't want you here. The city talisman was stolen, and later it turned up in one of our carts. Who would want to do something like that to you? Or have you really stolen that statue? I don't blame the villagers. I think it was done by somebody in the circus. But since it happened, we don't talk to each other anymore. Who would want to do something so you have no idea who the thief is? Maybe you could find out. Well, I can try. I kind of like the circus. Very well then. Reveal the offender and redeem the good nature of our circus. Is there anything else I can do for you? I want to see the good. I'm looking for a guide to lead me through the swamps. Can't you help me somehow? You probably won't find a good guide these days. The only one able to leave you is indisposed. I'm just now realizing how weird the perspective is in this shop. Look how huge the foreground Where is. Where can I find him? And what's the matter with him? His head keeps clipping through the table. Well, I can't talk about that. He's been struck by a terrible tragedy. Blackmailer, won't you tell me about that guide? Oh, well, as I said, I'll tell you more only if you do me a little favor. What kind of favor? I'm worried about my servant. He's two days late with the goods from Greninger. Find him and find out what the problem is. I want to see the goods. Goodbye. And we have to talk to that lazy good-for-nothing mayor. Of course. Can I interrupt you again? Go ahead. Just ask. Concerning the... Con Why did you kick the circus out of the city? A week ago, a small golden statue disappeared from the town hall. They had it in their carts, the bloody thieves. That's why I have cast them out. I'd like to ask you something else. Anything else I can do for you? Yes, I'd... What is it you're so worried about? My son has been missing for a few days. I don't know what to do. I've been searching for him everywhere. All right, I'm going to help you. You'd really do that for me? If you return my son to me, I shall reward you very well indeed. Of course. I'll do all I can to find him. I really hope you succeed. He means so much to me. Where did your son like to play? His favourite place was at the bridge. But he never used to go outside of the village. I've warned him so many times not to do that. What did your son look like? Well, he is young, six years old, has blonde hair, and blue eyes. And he had a friend named Cheryl. I'd like to goodbye. Can I interrupt you again? Go ahead. Just ask. Concerning those bandits, concerning Mildrew, anything new ha- Do you know what happened to the blacksmith's son? I don't know anything about him. The town was searched thoroughly. Only the gate guard saw something. But it's hard to believe him. He's, um, got a few screws loose, if you know what I mean. Concerning Mill, anything new? I'd like to ask. Go ahead. Concern. Goodbye. To the shop. In to the gate. So let's ask the gate guard if he saw the kid.
A few hours ago, the mayor has given out an order that you and all other persons don't need to be guided by guards in Mildrew anymore. So the entrance is free from now on. This is why bribing him is completely useless, by the way. Is there anything else I can do for you, miss? Have you seen a lost child around here? You mean a roving son? I don't know if you're gonna believe me. But I saw a big guy wearing rusty armor. He was sneaking around here maybe a week ago. So, he sees a suspicious person, he tries to tell the mayor, of course the mayor doesn't want to do anything because he's worthless, even though the town has already had a problem with bandits. What does it have in common with Aravan's son? Well, I heard a child's cry a few minutes before I saw that guy. But no one in town wants to believe me. They say I should drink less. Can you tell me which direction this man went? Unless I'm mistaken, he went towards Grenagar. I need to find a guide to take me through the swamp to the north. I don't know anyone who would be willing to guide you these days. Goodbye. Luckily, the circus is in the same direction as Grenagar, which is also where the merchant's servant will be. Kind of convenient. And that's also about as convenient as this game is going to get. What's going on here? Nothing's going on. That's what's going on. The circus is closed. But if you're looking to buy some magical runes, just go on. Have you seen a group of bandits lately? I haven't seen any bandits since we entered this land. I heard that a golden statue was stolen from Mildrew. It said one of you stole it. You've already heard of it? The truth is that the statue was really found in one of our carts. But I don't know how it got there. What did you do the evening the statue disappeared? I don't remember much. I was sleeping in the tent together with another person. Sam. Barley or Nick, but I don't know which one of them. One of them is a thief. So you think the thief is one of the circus people? It is quite possible. They're all behaving strangely. They accuse each other and don't talk with others. Thank you for the information. I see that you know quite a lot of tricks with the staff. I'm not going to make the obvious joke. Well, yes. I know how to defend myself when it comes to it. I'd like to improve my staff skills. I'm not in the mood to teach right now. I have other issues to take care of. I'd like goodbye. There's probably a never end forum somewhere with a really long thread on how they wish the ringmaster was romanceable. I heard that a statue from Mildrew has mysteriously disappeared. Probably never, because of that stupid statue, Roy been thrown out of Mildrow. What did you do the night the statue disappeared? I don't remember much of that night, except that Bali was sleeping in the tent. I make fun of this guy's voice acting, but at least he's trying. Thanks for the information. I heard a statue from Mildrew has mysteriously disappeared. Disappear? Someone stole it. His face is horrifying. It looks like he's got blood smeared all over him. I'm going to accuse him. What were you doing the night the statue disappeared? There was one person sleeping with me in the tent. Thanks for the information. We're not going to go back to Bali just yet. We've still got to find the merchant's servant. These lags and pauses really are in the game, it's not the recording. Hey, we're gonna fight another werewolf! He's level 5, we are level 3. 
We're still underleveled for fighting werewolves, but not as underleveled as we were before. This fight isn't very difficult, and we're going to be using a lot fewer healing potions. We've got better equipment, too. And yes, we absolutely do have to fight this werewolf. We can't just see the dead body and report back to the guy. and easy. Ugh. This seems to be the servant of the shopkeeper from Mildred that I've been looking for. Now I know why he never turned up. Those creatures must have killed him. This guy is as dead as a dead thing in Deadville. Those creatures must have killed him. I guess he won't need the things he has with him anymore. If there's one thing I remember from my first playthrough way back in 8th grade, it's that one line. And there's a sparkly fountain right here. This water has healing effects. We can only use it three times, though, before it dries up. Can you tell me what you were doing the night the statue was stolen? I can barely remember anything about that night. But I did see Sam sleeping in his tent, if that helps. Thanks for the information. Is there anything else I can do for you? I want to see the goods. I've already met your servant. And? What's the matter? Where is he? I'm afraid he won't be coming anymore. He won't be coming? Where is he? I'll show him. I doubt he'll be taking notice of you. He lies dead near the road to Grenegar. Oh, not another victim. There's been more than enough of them in recent times. What is going on here? Did he at least have the goods with him? No, but I brought the money. No, I don't know anything about any goods. Here we've got another choice. We can give him the money or we can just lie and keep the money. Well, what can I do? I have to keep my promise. The tracker you're looking for is Revik. He is the local reef son. There's nothing more that I can tell you. Thank you. Can I interrupt you again? Go ahead. Just ask. Concerning the concerning Ravik, the reef son. Ravik? Oh my. When he returned a week ago from the wilderness. He was completely out of his mind. The Reeve has kept him at home since then. He was wandering too far and too deep into the dark forests where a mighty demon possessed his soul. I'd like to ask you something else. Go ahead, just ask. Concerning those bandits, goodbye. What do you want? I'd like to visit the master of this house. I know Ravik has been possessed, and I know how to help him, but I have to see him first. Very well then, you may enter. If we had tried to go here before, this guy wouldn't have let us in. Who is it? My name is Ajavan. I've come to help. How did you get inside? I told the guard not to let anyone in. I know how to help your son. For my son's sake, I hope you are right. Please, come in. So, how are you going to help my son? 
Here's another case of weird perspective. Are they just really tiny, or is that table huge? Foreground, background, none of it makes sense. I came to see Ravik. Where is he? I need his help. You must have heard wrong. Ravik is very ill. I won't let you in. Also, I'd like to point out that this is the first female NPC that we've met. It wouldn't be worth pointing out if Azhavan weren't female herself, which... I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I heard that Ravik is the best tracker in the land. He was the best one until this terrible tragedy came upon him. Now he's tied to the bed. You said there's someone who could help Ravik. Who is it? Oh, we can't get to him. We've already sent two helpers, but neither of them returned. I'll go to him. Just tell me where I can find him. Huh? Where do you want to go? We sent the two most trustworthy helpers we have, and they disappeared without a trace. Your son's life is at stake, woman. Just tell me where to go. Hurry! Very well, then. You have to go to Grenegar. A helical Anexion lives there. Tell him that you need to banish a demon that has possessed my son. She sounds so blasé about this. Like, that's not really demonic possession. Ravik has been possessed by a demon. He's just been using the computer too much. It seems so. He's very tired. He tries to fight against it, but I'm afraid he won't last long. You better go now, and hurry. And please take this ring. It will help you in case you have to defend yourself. It's a pretty sweet ring. It gives a plus four to both our agility and endurance. I have one more question. You're welcome. What were you doing? I know who stole the statue. You do? So tell me already. It was Nick. It was Sam. It was Barley. Now we know for a fact that it, it must Nick. have been Nick who stole the statue because he's his story's the only one that was inconsistent with the others. Because he said that Barley was sleeping in his tent. But Sam and Bali both said that Sam was sleeping in the tent with the Ringmaster. But this choice doesn't actually matter except for how much karma you get. So we're going to say that it was Sam, the guy with the blood on his face, because we want the bad karma. Besides, this, doing this is funnier. It was Sam. Are you sure? As sure as I can be. In that case, I'll have to expel him from the circus and apologize to the mayor. Please, take this letter to him. The game just assumes that you're purposely being malicious instead of just making a mistake. And we have to go back to the mayor again. Can I interrupt you again? Go ahead. Just ask. Concerning that I have a letter for you from the circus principal. An excuse? Well, that's something else. I shall allow them to re-enter Mildred, but I'll keep an eye on them. Please, give them this allowance for staying in the city. But, if they try to steal anything else, they'll go straight to jail. I'd like to ask you something else. Go ahead. Can goodbye. We have to go back to the circus. Did you take the letter to the mayor? Yes, and he sends his permission to perform again in Mildrew. Oh, what good news. He's allowing us to perform again, and he will even return our money. He sounds so sarcastic when he says that. I thank you very much. Please take this little token of my thanks. Thank you. Goodbye. What we've got is Magical Dust. It's a sleeping powder, but it's unusable on intelligent beings. Which means we can't use this in combat, but perhaps there's another use for it. Sam stole the statue. What? I... Uh, well, yes, I, I was thinking that. And we can see that Sam has already made his bloody face scarce. Good riddance to him, I say. Well, we'll see you next time, and let's play Neverend.